Well, howdy do, y'all. There's an old saying. <laughs> you can put a tuxedo on a goat, but it's still a goat. Well, here you are I'm drinking a pint of, of Schlitz, and I poured it into a very good glass here. I got from the Missouri Beer Fest. Got that on one side and the hop truck on the other side. Obviously, a beer like this isn't meant to be poured into a glass like this, but I thought I'd give it the royal treatment and see what happens. This one, I don't know if they're still using that 60s recipe. If they've gone back to something else, it does not say that on here. And it certainly doesn't say what's in it. I'm sure it has adjuncts. I'm almost positive. But uh, I wanted to revisit it for, for, you know, for a few reasons. Yeah, actually, I, you know. Here's the thing, there, there's a couple kinds of reviewers out there, beer guys. Uh, well, the one type does reviews of, of beers of this type for the simple purpose of just slamming them. You know, they just want to throw red meat to the to the lions, you know. And they say some bad things and have everybody pile on, dog pile on the on Schlitz. Or whatever macro they're drinking. And then there's the other kind that wants to make more out of it than what it is. A drink, they pop beers like this, and then they pop 30 adjectives out of their ass that, that just don't belong. There isn't 30 adjectives to describe a beer like this or any of the major macros. And they're pulling your leg when they're trying to tell you they, they, they can. But there is a third type. <laughs> there are there's guys like me. And I'm not the only one, and I'm not saying I'm special by any means. But there there's folks that buy beers like this uh, for a couple reasons. One, uh, because maybe they, they feel a kinship for certain brands. We drink mostly crafts, but every once in a while. And that maybe it's, maybe you, I don't know, if it's Memorial Weekend, maybe you just want a good old-fashioned, you know, go old school on the beer. Something just to drink quantities of. And why not? Why not give it a shot? I paid five forty nine dollars for the six pack of tall boys probably more than it's worth but what the hell I gotta tell you there isn't a lot of flavor here like I said I'm not trying to I'm not gonna bamboozle you and tell you there's stuff in here there isn't but it does finish crisper than I anticipated it really isn't terrible and again it depends on what you're looking for man this beer this isn't a beer you drink when you want to be snobby you go Oh yeah, I can taste this, or I can taste that, or oh yes, yeah, so, oh you know, it's not that kind of beer, man. But uh, if you're just hanging out on your patio, if it's Memorial Day weekend, and maybe you feel like drinking a few, you know, maybe you want to drink more than usual, and you don't want to spend an arm and leg, or maybe just like most Americans or many Americans, times are freaking tough, and craft beer prices are getting high. So you, you try something like this just for fun. To drink while you're working out in the yard or just finish mowing the lawn, that sort of thing. I gotta tell you, um, I don't know if it helped putting it in this class, to be honest with you, but I gotta tell you, I am finding it uh, more refreshing than I remember finding it refreshing before. How about that? Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a magic glass, man. It's the glass. Ah, it's in the glass. It's a magic glass. Everything tastes better. Yeah, oddly enough, it finishes very nice. It, 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 it finishes right at the right time. The problem with beers like this is they tend to finish extremely lazy. And I'm talking about the major players. Without mentioning their names, you know who they are. You know, the big three, let's call them. You know, uh, they're somehow thought to be superior to beers like Schlitz. You know, um, Olympia is another one that gets in that bargain category old style. I think this beer, this beer uh, specifically, though, uh, I think finishes even more crisp than any of the big ones. I do. I really do. I do, man. And again, I don't know if this is still the 60s recipe. That beats the living crap out of me. And I don't think it really matters, to be honest with you. There, there clearly are adjuncts in here. Rice and or corn, I imagine. Ugh. I mean, it is finishing a little cleaner than I, than I imagined, a little cleaner, a little dry. Uh, it's it's not irritating me at all. Then <laughs> again, man, I was hot. I just wanted to drink something, man. Can't we all just get along? So there you go. Let me finish my Schlitz here. Oh, yeah. I can't do that like I used to, but there you go.